Yeah, Ryan, I know um, obviously he was having a, a, a tough day getting it going, Derek was, but that series with about 10 minutes to go, you drive to the 40th, second and two. In retrospect, do you hope with, with potentially three downs there that at once one of those times you stick the ball in his, his gut and kind of live with the result? Um, I don't remember the specific sequence that you're, you're mentioning, um, but like you said, we, we had a tough time all day, um, you know, getting yards. They did a good job. I have to give hats off to them up front. Uh, they made it tough on us, so uh, just wasn't good enough. Jim? Ryan, I'm, I'm just switching over, so I'm sorry if you've been asked, but, but can you speak just to the, the disappointment of going out after the first round and just kind of what goes through your mind when finality hits and you know this team – won't be back and like it was this year. Yeah, it's a huge disappointment. Obviously, um, you know, it's tough to kind of put into words right now just because, you know, you're not prepared for this moment. You know, everything in my heart and my soul told me we're going to go win this game. Uh, so you know, the fin finality of it is real. Uh, I don't think we were prepared, for, obviously, to be in this position. But uh, here we are. So. Uh, it's tough, you know, obviously, you know, lovely guys in this locker room and part of this organization uh, and, and no team back to back years is ever the same. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens, but, you know, definitely appreciative of my time with with every guy in that locker room and, and what they gave to this team, and this organization, you know, guys bought in and, and gave their heart and soul to it. So, um, you know, it wasn't for for lack of effort or trying or buying in. So I uh, respect all those guys and enjoyed every moment with them. Joe Rexroad. Hey, Ryan, I wanted to ask you about the interception. Um, was that ball tipped at all coming off the line? Um, did you see Khalif get bumped before the ball got to him? And then also, did you see AJ on the left side of the field on that play? No, I started off on the right. Um, they skied it off. So Khalif inside release there on the seam. He had Peters behind him. Uh, so uh, was bodying up Khalif with Peters behind him like this. And um, from my angle, it appeared he got hit. He fell down, and, and the ball went went right to Peters. So uh, I felt really confident when I threw that pass. It, it was in a good spot uh, with Khalif being between um, the ball and the defender. So I you know, felt really confident when I let it go. Thought it was good when it was in the air. Then all of a sudden, you know, Khalif got hit and, and dropped. So, um, you know, from my angle, it definitely looked like could have been a flag there, and it probably should have been. But – um, it wasn't thrown, so here we are. Teresa? Ryan, this is now back-to-back -back playoff games that uh, you, the offense has been able to get double-digit leads but not been able to hold on to them. And on this day, what uh, what stopped working at a certain point for this offense? Yeah, we just didn't, didn't move the ball. It's scored enough points, obviously, you know. Scored 10 points early. Uh, we knew, you know, this team could score coming in and had great respect for them. So um, knew it was going to take more, and we just didn't get it done. John Glennon. Yeah, Ryan, what did, what did you see differently in terms of uh, them being able to contain Derek this time around? Was it was it more the personnel that, that came back or uh, any different strategies on their part? Yeah, they did a good job up front, you know, with, with their, their game plan, with obviously – you know, getting a couple guys back, um, you know, they're good players and they're starters for a reason. So, um, you know, definitely probably played a little bit of a factor. But I think at the end of the day, we just didn't execute well enough um, all the way around. So um, tip your hat to them. They did a good job and, and we didn't get it done. Gentry? Yeah, Ryan, you guys drive and score, I think, on two of the first three possessions. What, what changed after that point, in your opinion, there in the second quarter? I don't think we executed good enough. You know, I don't think anything dramatic changed. Um, we just didn't didn't take advantage of opportunities and, and execute. We got ourselves in, in some long yard situations, uh, didn't execute good enough on third down, and, uh, you know, weren't able to sustain drives. So when you're not able to do that against a good defense, then you know, you're not going to score. Terry? Ryan, early on, you and AJ had something going uh, really well on the two scoring drives. And then it seemed like, uh, you know, he wasn't involved as much there in the second and third quarters. Were they doing something that specifically kind of tried to take him away during that span? Uh, we still got a shot downfield there um, on the, the field goal drive there in the fourth quarter or third quarter. Um, I guess we ended up kicking the field goal at the start of the fourth. 
their last drive there, uh, made a play downfield for us. Um, you know, they, they did change up the looks a little bit. You know, one time, you know, they, they passed off a, a route when we thought we were going to have him. Um, another one, they basically bear hugged him down the field. So uh, didn't get a flag on that one either. Uh, so, you know, like I said, just tip your ass to those guys. You know, they did enough and making adjustments and, and we didn't get it done. David? Ryan, on the pass there late in the second quarter that got batted back to you, you guys lost 10 yards. How much did that set you back and, and cost you an opportunity to try and do something there before the half? Yeah, it was huge. I uh, just got to knock that thing down. Uh, just instinct, the ball coming at me, I, I caught it, but obviously just knock it down and, and live for second and 10. And uh, we'll still have an opportunity to to go score. You, you put yourself in long yard situation, you know, then we miss miss the second down play by a couple of inches there on the sideline. And, um, and now you're in third and forever. So uh, definitely hurt us. Two more and then a couple follows. Luke? Ryan, last year when you were in this position, you were you know about to go into free agency. Now now you're here for the long haul, and, and you've been here for two years. You, you see what this team is and can do. What, what, what sort of the next step do you think moving forward for this team in terms of growth? Yeah, we got to keep building. Obviously, um, did some good things this year, but you know, didn't win this game today. And at the end of the day, you know, we're we're here to to try to win a championship. And, and put ourselves in position to win a championship. So, you know, we did that by winning the division and then didn't come out and execute today. So um, every year is a new year. We'll have to have to start over and, uh, you know, build through this off season and get ready to go for next year. Paul? Given the game away from the Super Bowl last year, all the work you guys put in to get in the home field game and winning the division, um, all the scoring and everything, the, the, do you have to chalk the whole thing up now with this loss as a fail? I mean, I, I don't think that you don't look at, at everything you accomplished and, and say you know, it was a fail. You know, those things happen. Those things are real. Um, but we didn't execute and, and do enough today to win. So um, we didn't end up where we wanted to be. And that was, you know, competing for a Super Bowl, winning a Super Bowl. So um, didn't achieve our, all of our goals.